our royal correspondent there with some of the moments uh, that will be memorable from this royal wedding day. Well, uh, with me now is someone who's watched Prince William very closely, writer and photographer uh, Ian Lloyd, who's been out and about taking pictures today. We'll see some of those in a moment, Ian. But I just wondered, uh, as someone who has observed Prince William, how did he come across today, do you think? I think the main thing that came across is how very much in love they are. I know that sounds a bit of a naff thing to say, but I but mean... It hasn't been a given so, in previous royal no, it weddings. Hasn't, has it really? And I mean, they tended to be... Um, the old, older weddings tended to be formulaic. They followed the same pattern each time. This, this, it just struck me as different, as if they'd had an awful lot of input. I mean, I know Prince Charles must have done the Queen in her day, but this just seemed to be that they'd, they'd brought a lot of themselves in it, as if they wanted it to be very much a personal wedding as well as a public wedding. So they gave a lot to us, the public, and, um, you know, in things like this thing we saw recently, the car going back from Buckingham Palace. Beautiful. Driving himself. Driving himself in his father's Aston Martin. But again, that's got a personal touch. It's his father's favourite car, you know, so you get the personal, but you get something that attracts the public. The same with the service. You got that lovely prayer that they wrote, didn't they? And, and that, that, was, that was very personal to them. But it's given to us as well so it strikes me very much there's that balance you know. so I know you were along the route and uh, you saw the procession I to did. the Abbey from the Abbey let's have a look at some of the uh, pictures you took uh, how, how difficult was it to, to get close enough to, to really have the pictures you wanted yeah, it was it was pretty difficult I mean it wasn't impossible but the, the thing is with a carriage then one looks one way the other looks the other you ideally you want them both looking which I didn't get um, and the other problem with things like troop liners and police in the way and we, last minute we had a regiment in front of us, so we, it, was, it was pretty, it's pretty tricky. So it's the luck of the draw, really. It is, but you can't ask them to do it again. You know, <laughs> if they're celebrities, you might do, but the royal family, you've got that one bite and, and that's it, really. And is there an image that'll stand out for you of, of, of the atmosphere and what you've seen here today? I mean, it's obviously going to... I think one thing that struck me was just simply walk, them walking through the nave and, and those beautiful trees. I mean, that itself is just so different. Who could have imagined that they would have 20-foot... Is it mulberry trees? I believe. I hope you imagine that. And, and, and we've had so many weddings just, you know, coming out of the nave and the west door. But to have that, again, it's this mixture I was on about a personal and, and, and um, you know, their input plus it's, uh, you know, entertaining us, I suppose. Ian, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Ian Lloyd, who's uh, written a book uh, about uh, Prince William and uh, is a veteran of, of more than one royal wedding in the past. Um, David, b before I leave you for a moment, just to let you know that I imagine in Buckingham Palace they're setting the stage for the evening reception. So fairly shortly, we should actually be seeing uh, William and Catherine return to Buckingham Palace uh, from their...